in western Kenya. It has less than a thousand people, but it's really, a Catherine, the epicenter for Obama mania here in Kenya. For the past few months, people are getting more excited about the prospect of this election. And when Barack Obama became the uh, candidate for the Democrats, that just grew and grew. Uh, Kogelo is the area where Obama, which would be considered Obama's ancestral area here in Kenya. His grandmother lives right behind me. Uh, his half-brother lives on that side. And across the way, some other relatives of Barack Obama are watching the results coming in keenly. So uh, this town is very much, or this village is very much partisan for Obama, Catherine. I bet they are, since uh, uh, he has such close ties there. It is very different to see pictures of a U.S. Vi of U.S. presidential candidate uh, uh, so proudly displayed there in that area. That's true, Catherine. I mean, people are selling Obama T-shirts. They are buying Obama bootleg CDs, even uh, from the CNN's air. They've been copying it and selling it across the capital, Nairobi. I've even eaten a piece of Obama cake. So you can't really play down the amount of excitement here in Kenya. Kogelo is uh, quite a sleepy village, but people are very excited. And certainly at daybreak, uh, everyone will want to know who the next president will be. And I'm sure to a person, everyone's rooting for Obama. Uh, you might meet some people in Kenya who were uh, supporters of Hillary Clinton and maybe John McCain, but in this part of Africa at least, you know, I've been speaking to youth, for example, in this village, and they say what a presidency of Obama might mean to them is really a level of inspiration. If uh, a man uh, could be born from a Kenyan father and reach possibly the, the highest office of America, they say that anything's possible, and maybe their kids, their grandkids could reach that point too.